Uh, may I please welcome back, um, she's a lot taller than I am. Plus, if I seem to have shrunk, it has nothing to do with the fact that I didn't wear shoes for two years, and apparently I went a little, went a little too high tonight. Um, may I please um, welcome back uh, the chair of our Best Short Story panel, James Latoile, to pr present the award for Best Short Story. Good evening again. Anyone who tells you that the short story is an easy thing to do probably hasn't written one. Uh, in the reception, I was talking with Art Taylor, who knows a thing or two about short stories. And it, it's really an unappreciated art form. Uh, our nominees took us on a journey from the gridiron to the world of art theft, from the mean streets to locked room mysteries and exotic locales. We looked at 400 short stories and read them and read them again. And I got emails from the judges saying, do we have to read this one again? Yes, you have to read this one again. And what, what we came to is these nominees truly did elevate the art form. And uh, I appreciate their effort and I learned a lot from it. So without further ado, the nominees for best short story are Blindsided, from Alfred Hitchcock Mystery Magazine by Michael Bracken and James A. Hearn. The Vermeer Conspiracy in the Midnight Hour Anthology by V.M. Burns. Lucky 13, the Midnight Hour Anthology by Tracy Clark. The Road to Hana, Alfred Hitchcock Mystery Magazine by R.T. Lawton. The Locked Room Library, Ellery Queen Mystery Magazine by G.G. Pandian. The Dark Oblivion, Ellery Queen Mystery Magazine by Cornell Woolrich. And the Edgar goes to The Road to Hana, Alfred Hitchcock Mystery Magazine, R.T. Lawton. Years ago, at one of these banquets, Marjorie gave out bobblehead Edgars for party favors. And for a lot of years, I thought that would be the only Edgar I would get, and yet here we are. So. <clears throat> I would like to thank some very intelligent judges for the impeccable taste in short stories. After the judges, of course, I would like to thank my wife, Kitty Lawton, who is my first reader, secretary, publicist, social media person, and travel agent. She keeps me on track, both for the stories I write and for life in general. Next, I would like to thank Linda Landrigan, the author or the editor of Alfred Hitchcock Mystery Magazine, for making me a better writer. <clears throat> I consider us as friends, and yet at the same time, I know she is the boss. If I submit a story that doesn't fit the concept of her magazine, 
I know it's going to be a nice email rejection, and I go in search of the Jack Daniels. <laughs> if I get a contract, then I get vanilla Crown Royal. <laughs> so, thank you all, and bless the Mystery Writers of America for bringing us all together. <laughs>